Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Bella with Bella Hitana Tarot. Happy Friday, happy October. I'm so excited this month is here, finally. This is actually my birthday month, so, or towards the end of the month, but I'm so excited that fall is officially here. You know, when every time that I'm in this fall energy, I love getting my fall candles. I actually got them in the mail just now, but I haven't opened them yet. But anyways, so today, <laughs> I wanted to do a reading for the Divine Masculine just to see where he's at. I know that we just had this full moon in Aries. So I just want to know what is going on with his mind, heart, and physical space. So right now we're going to start with the mind and I just put it right here in the middle. And I already pulled some cards just to kind of save us on time. So this is what's going on in his mind space and then we're going to do another spread for his heart space and another spread for his physical space, okay? So let's just see what comes out. Moonlight faded pathway wow interesting that we just had this full moon and now we have moonlight so this could be where he's actually maybe even looking at the moon and he's thinking about you know what is his faded pathway you know trying to figure it out oh we have desire you want them they want you the tension in the air is so thick and laced with sexual frustration it's like your bodies are buzzing with pressure hunger and a burn so strong it sets you ablaze wow <laughs> So I'm getting here that the masculine's really feeling this passionate desire for you, feminine. Okay. Wow. He's also very sorrowful too. Very heartbroken. Let's see what he wants to say. I need to go my own way for a while. This could be why the faded pathway is here because he knows that he needs to figure some things out. This could be why he feels heartbroken because even though he wants you, he's still, you know, figuring things out. Yeah, he's feeling alone. This is like the hermit's energy. This is also the five of wands, I believe. But either way, this this is change brewing. This lady's looking at the moon. That's kind of interesting. What else, spirit? Wow, look at this. <laughs> Pay attention to signs. And this is like the same theme here the lady's holding a light and there's an owl here wow very interesting she kind of looks like a gypsy here a hitana <laughs> so this could be where anytime that he feels alone he's thinking about these signs that he could be getting from spirit owls may remind him of you feminine violet angel breaking dawn this is another five 23 five for change wow creativity you're you love to devise new ideas innovations and forms of illumination wow so i'm getting here that in his mind space he's trying to find creative ways to move forward and let go of things that are heavy for him but we can pull some tarot here too to see what's going on with this spread let's just see why is grief here spirit why is it my masculine feeling grief wow six of pentacles here taken for granted six of decay i feel like he feels remorseful bereaved you know really sad that he took you for granted is what i'm getting here i feel like now he's starting to figure out you know what he took for granted and this makes him upset and it's interesting that he's saying i need to go my own way for a while and we have two women here walking on their own you know look at this two of wands fire escape yeah i feel like your masculine needed to go on go on his separate ways why is he feeling alone spirit knight of torment this is a nine of swords night terrors so i feel like interesting they're both looking at the moon in both of these i feel like he at night feels really alone like before he goes to bed and he keeps thinking about how lonely he feels without you this is the ace of rage ace of wands so this is like an inferno like this is really painful for him because i, I get here that he has this strong desire for you ace of wands is also about passion and strong desires so very interesting he could be thinking about you you know in a sexual way before he goes to bed but and it's interesting that we have violet angel breaking dawn i get here that you know he's starting to get epiphanies because this is this reminds me of the crown chakra and so a lot of things are coming here to the surface why is pay attention to the signs here spirit wow <laughs> The lovers, carnal thirst, okay? I mean, in his mind space, you are he's thinking about how much he desires you, okay? I mean, the, these girls, even though they're different decks, they look alike. So he definitely has a strong desire for you and he can't stop thinking about it. But he knows that he needs to go his own way for a while. Look at this, Ace of Sorrow. This is Ace of Cups. 
self-loathing. I feel like he needs to go on his own way for a while because he needs to love himself. He needs to work on his self-love, you know, come up with new ideas on how to, you know, gain this epiphany that he needs to realize. Very interesting. I'm gonna leave these up here for the mind, the heart, and the physical. Okay, so when it comes to his heart space, what is going on? Surfer risk assessment. Wow. So I'm getting here that he's trying to assess the risk within his heart. You know, he knows within his intuition that he wants to explore the options if he was to go with his heart and trying to assess the risk. Do I do it? Do not? Do I not do it? Look at this, in love with someone else. Feelings for another sim is strong within their heart or someone else, oh my God. They are in love with another. I mean, these feelings for you, feminine, are so strong that he could be with somebody else, but he's still in love with you. This is within their heart. I mean, we're, we are talking about the heart space. He's embarrassed about this. <laughs> He feels very conscious that he has these feelings for you and he, he probably doesn't even understand why. The thought of you still does things to me, okay? So in his heart, he's even thinking about you. And then we have teach. So he could be um, learning about the lessons here. This is also a five for change. Okay. This is also the Hierophant in this deck. So I feel like you're teaching him about commitment or maybe he thought about it differently before. Yeah, he's, he's like a wild child. <laughs> Wow, this is beautiful. I feel like you make him feel wild within his heart. Angel of time working too hard. I feel like he knows that he's working too hard to push away these feelings. Humility. You have developed the loving awareness that you and everyone else are on, and everyone else are the same but on different paths. Okay, this could be why he's finally learning about that. That he's learning that just because somebody doesn't think the same doesn't mean that they don't have something to teach you, right? And everybody relates to situations regardless of how different it is or what different path you may have taken. Very beautiful. So let's just pull some tarot. Why is in love with someone else here, spirit? Seven of sorrow, optical illusions. This is the seven of cups. I feel like your person is confused about these feelings that he feels within his heart. You know, he almost feels like he can't trust it. He almost feels like it's not real. And he feels overwhelmed with this. There's a, there's a wolf in there in that picture. Siren of Sorrow, head, head case. This is a, the Queen of Cups, I believe. Yeah, the Queen of Cups. I'm getting here that he feels like he's going crazy. You know what I mean? Like he doesn't know if this is real. He's probably thinking that you're going crazy. <laughs> because he probably doesn't understand what he's feeling okay why is teach here ten of decay this is a ten of pentacles pipe dreams so i feel like in the past he may have seen commitment as you know an illusion like it was not real i mean that could be why this is here too and so now he's learning that it doesn't have to be that way you'd have to be thinking that it's just a fantasy yeah, because I feel like in the past, he may have felt like he was just playing with fire by thinking he, he could, you know, go towards this Ten of Pentacles with you. He just felt like it was dangerous. Why is he feeling wild? Four of Pentacles here, prisoner. Okay, so I feel like he's feeling like he's still holding back. Yeah, this is what I'm getting. I feel like he feels wild passion towards you and he's just holding back. And he feels like he's you know, not able to free himself from these feelings that he's feeling. Look at this, two of swords here, deadlock. Yeah, I feel like he feels deadlocked, like he can't make a decision, even though he has this passion for you. I feel like he's thinking about, you know, and being embarrassed. Why is embarrassed here? Six of cups, oh my gosh, lost in time. I had a feeling this was gonna come out because I, I feel like he's, he's feeling, you know, like he would have to humble himself in order to come towards you to, um, come back together in a reunion, a reconciliation. And he just feels embarrassed that he just took a different route. You know what I mean? Like if he went to a third party. Yeah, look at this. Eight of Wands, muzzle. Yeah, so he doesn't want to speak to you still because he is feeling embarrassed that now he would have to eat his words. You know what I mean? Why is working too hard here? This is the Queen of Pentacles. She's basically a zombie. So I feel like he is drained by working too much and it's, it's going towards nothing basically that he is just working so hard at trying to pull away from you that it's starting to drain him i mean there's no more life in him at all look at this this is the king of wands violence dictator of rage i feel like this person is angry at himself He's feeling a lot of ang anger in his heart. And this is why he's working so hard to suppress it because he's basically fighting it. 
he's fighting what he feels towards you. I know that it says here risk assessment, but it's like he has a long way to go is what I'm getting here, you know, because we have a five and a 10. That's basically like baby steps. And then we have a six and a seven here. A five, six, and seven. Very interesting. He needs to humble himself within his heart space is what I'm getting here. Okay. When it comes to his physical space, we have here the submarine navigation tools. Okay. So I feel like he's starting to apply some of the skills that he's needed to apply to be able to navigate, you know, his, his, both his inner and outer world, right? And we have deception. Someone is not being honest and something is not as they seem. There is a deception happening with your partner or a close friend or that someone could be you. Could it be that you or someone else is lying to yourself and those around you? It might not be a deliberate deception, but it is a deception nonetheless. I'm getting here that in his physical space, he could be lying to himself. Let's see what this is about. Yeah, he's feeling nauseated, like repelled about this lie that either he's lying to himself or somebody could be lying to him i just got sidetracked okay i feel like in this physical space he's he's acknowledging that he got sidetracked and that, you know what i'm getting here i feel like he feels disgusted that he lied to you and he's saying right here i just got sidetracked success and growth yeah he needed to grow right he needed to grow in order to be able to accomplish what he needed to Wow, procrastination. Another eight. Very interesting. This is another lady with a light. We saw that in the first spread. It's a black cat here. So I'm getting here that he could have been stalling, but basically he's stalling right now from doing anything in the physical space. You know what I mean? Fairy of the Highlands is time to be brave. Wow. That's beautiful. And this is 20 for judgment. So I feel like he knows that he needs to stop procrastinating and it's time to be brave. Reminds me of the Disney princess from Brave. <laughs> Um, and then look at this priorities. He's trying to prioritize. You understand the paramount importance of manifesting love in all situations. So he's trying to prioritize what's important. This is why the navigation tools is here that he's trying to figure out what needs to be looked at and what does not because he knows that he got sidetracked because of his priorities in the past. Maybe they were not aligned with yours. You know what I mean? Let's pull some tarot. Why is deception here, spirit? Wow. The wheel. Misfortune. So I I get here that this is a karmic cycle that ended finally so this is a good a good sign here that means that he's not going to you know be he's not gonna lie anymore because he didn't feel good about it right yeah he he was loathing himself like really hating that he was not honest with you why is disgusted here 501 somebody that basically burned it all down he's he feels really bad about this in his physical space i feel like he knows that he self-sabotaged this connection. Look at this. Four wands, charcoal remains. I mean, that's definitely corresponding to this because he burned it all down and now the ashes are just in your face. The ashes are just there. That's all that remains is just charcoal, the ashes. He knows that he got sidetracked. Why did he get sidetracked, spirit? Wow. Six of wands because he wanted that success and growth and he thought it was going to be somewhere else, right? But he was a tyrant. He didn't bother to see what you felt about it, right? And we have the two of pentacles here. He was going back and forth, okay? Why is success and growth here? The hermit. Quarantine lockdown. Interesting because we saw the first spread, the ladies going off, you know, feeling alone and going off on their own. That's like the hermit's energy. And here we have it again. Third time we've seen that. Actually, fourth. Because now we have another lady here with a light too. So this person needed to reflect and do some soul searching. You know, they're hiding what they feel because they want to have success with you. I think this is the eight of wands in this deck, if I'm not mistaken. But they really do want to communicate that they're working on growing and they want to be successful. And this is why they're navigating what's going on in their subconscious. Now we have the hangman, sacrificial lamb. It's like they, they're aware that they sacrificed this connection, but they needed to do it for their own good. Finally, the dictator of rage with procrastination. Yeah, this person in the physical space, it's still very, there's a lot of wands energy here. So they have a lot of desire but it was misdirected right because they were just not using it for their highest good they were just trying to destroy something that they could have had right that's why in the previous part we saw taken for granted now here we have another wands energy fire escape <laughs> okay so i'm getting here that your person is thinking in the physical space that this is this could happen again and I, that could be why they're trying to break away from that cycle and 
change their priorities. So let's see why it's, it's time to be brave here. Eight of Pentacles here, abandoned ship. Yeah, I feel like they. this is what they're used to, you know, leaving when things get rough and now they're wanting to come back it's time to be brave and face and face you look at this this is the nine of pentacles another card of alienation hermit's energy wow very interesting wise priorities here playing with fire <laughs> so i still feel like your person thinks that you know prioritizing things even if it's for their own good they still feel like they're playing with fire if they were to prioritize for themselves and that's not a good energy you need to put yourself first yeah see they think negatively tower the end times so the tower is also about breaking down the old beliefs right so he needs to break down these old beliefs that prioritizing things that matter to him is not playing with fire okay so what is your person scared of let's just see zombie mechanical program empty so i get here that uh, they're scared of not being able to be fulfilled because I, I feel like they are so drained in their energy that they're afraid that they're just going to keep being programmed to always need something or need someone and that they won't ever be able to fulfill themselves. Confessional, sin, repent, forgiveness. I feel like they know that they are empty because they know that they need to release you know, these burdens to finally confess that they know they've done wrong. They, need, they know that they need to forgive themselves and forgive you. Nuclear bomb, vulnerable, exposed, unsafe. Your person is scared of being vulnerable. They just don't feel like it's a safe thing to do and they shy away from it. They're really scared to expose how they really feel. But it starts with forgiving themselves so that they can be vulnerable, right? And they, that way they'll be fulfilled. Skull of flowers creating through the ashes. So I get here that once your masculine is able to forgive themselves, you know, creating through the ashes is basically like, what are you going to create after everything burned down, right? Because you're so used to not going back to something that's been destroyed, you just leave it, right? So I feel like Spirit is saying here that your person is afraid to go back to the damage that was done and then being able to rebuild something positive from it. Wow, very interesting. Zombie, oh my gosh. <laughs> Control. <laughs> I mean, the fact that that came out twice and these are two different decks. Wow. Yeah, so I feel like your person wants to be in control and they're afraid that if they confess what they've done that they won't be in control anymore, okay? Because they want to be in control. They are very prideful is what I'm getting here, you know? So, you know, we have a grave site here. So this is something that needs to finally die and be put to rest which is basically their ego and their pride once that's able to happen spirit is saying this person's going to finally repent and want to take control of their life and and you know release these burdens that are holding them back it's like they feel like they're in control but really they're not moving forward so they're therefore they are not controlling anything for the better it's like they're controlling themselves but it's not it's an empty victory that's what i'm getting here wow look at this <laughs> cauldron synergy and healing i love that this came out because once he releases that control which it will have to require him to heal from those wounds of trying to be in control it's okay to surrender because once you surrender to your healing and everything is aligned, that's when he can be able to expose and be okay to feel unsafe. That it's okay to be vulnerable. That's what I'm getting here. Very interesting. Okay. So let's just see what else comes out. Whole mystery. Another person with the light. <laughs> okay. So I'm getting here that your person's still trying to figure out what's not revealed to them yet. They're curious, but this also reminds me of the, the high priest is really trying to figure things out. Wow. In the beginning of the reading, we started off with creativity, and here it is again. So your person could be writing things down so that they can figure out this mystery. Maybe they're journaling. Wow. You know, interesting, we started with the reading with the Moonlight Faded Passage. And here we have starfish safe passage. So I'm getting here that your person feels safe and leaving, leaving things as a mystery because this gives them time to create something, create something beautiful. Red rose enchanted. Very beautiful. Wow. Let's just see what else comes out. 
Why is mystery here, spirit, for the divine masculine? The runner, disappearing act. <laughs> wow. So I definitely get here that the masculine almost likes mystery and he runs away to kind of keep that mystery going. And this is basically ghosting, right? Prince of the past, rest in memories. Yeah, I feel like your person is used to being this disappearing act because he likes to he likes to be like somebody that will be from your past it's weird it's a weird energy wow look at this make a wish when it comes to creation so this could have been why he had to go off on his own because he needed to go back to a drawing board and figure out what is it that he wants with his life he's still trying to figure that out fight for dreams don't stop now there's like a little kid here so i get here that your masculine is could be you know exploring things that happened to them and when they were a kid you know having that childlike energy to still believe in things and fight for your dreams wow look at this goddess of love deep intimacy i feel like your person is trying to go back to the drawing board because they want to be able to trust and feel safe and loving somebody you know ergo you <laughs> so they want to be able to feel like they can love again and have this deep intimacy because I feel like in the past your person was very afraid of intimacy. Yeah, see, they were just after lustful, something that was enchanted and appealing, fantasy and temptation. That's what they were used to, pretty much. Okay, so let's pull some tarot. Why is it running here, spirit? King of Pentacles. Yeah, so this person really, um, he he could be an earth sign, but either way, I just feel like your person was somebody that wanted to move on to what they felt was stable at the time. Maybe he felt like in the past, your energy, you know, what you guys had going on was not stable. And so they just went elsewhere. Yeah, look at this, Three of Swords. So they ended up breaking your heart or they ended up breaking their own heart when they broke your heart. But very interesting. Why is the stars here? Five of Pentacles. So I get here that your person's still keeping an eye on you. <laughs> and you may not be aware of it because they're hiding. And so I feel like even though they disappeared, they're still there energetically. You know what I mean? So even though you can't see them and you're going on about your business, I feel like they still keep an eye on you because they're still hoping that things will turn around. You know, this pen, this paper is empty. Nobody has written anything on it yet. But I get here that Spirit is saying, just have faith that somebody will pick up that pen and write you a message and come out of this Five of Pentacles and go to the Six of Pentacles. Because right now they're in this devil's energy. They need to figure things out temptation all you know we just see the lady of lust here fantasy and temptation so your person has a lot of growing up to do to be the star is also about union within yourself why is deep intimacy here oh my gosh and then we have the star again two different decks okay so i feel like this person here is open-minded right pouring out their emotions and i get here that eventually your masculine is going to be able to do the same and feel like it's safe to love again but they still have to go through some changes here because we saw the five of pentacles. They need, to, they need to have a breakthrough, ace of swords, to be able to come to that conclusion, be able to balance their yin and yang. There's a moon and the light, the dark and the light aspect here. But the truth is binded here. It's not free. It's wrapped up in this vine here. So it's going to take some time for this person to finally break free and let the truth help them feel safe to have this deep intimacy. Wow, very interesting. So let's get some last messages here. Wanted to look at the bottom of the deck of each one that we just pulled. So we have opportunity beckons in reverse, hole in the soul, the three fates, what comes around goes around, right? Trick or treat, mischief and play, under spell. Infatuation may be at play here. When this card comes up, you or someone may be so into someone and under a temporary spell. Wow. So I feel like your masculine is definitely still under your spell, but he's still wondering, am I good enough for you? Okay. And he's not fulfilled. We saw that earlier with the zombie card. He's feeling empty, dissatisfied, purposeless, self-love. We, we did talk about that, that he's trying to love himself. You realize that love of self is necessary to love another. Wow, so that's good that he's realizing that, right? Now we did see the tower earlier. And look at this. Monster bride, companion, life partner, mate. So your person knows you are their person. Okay, that's not a secret. <laughs> they know. One last card, and then we're going to pull some charms, okay? 
oneness. Each twin holds the beauty and light of each other. This card reminds you that you and your twin are in union energetically, even though you may be apart or in transition. I absolutely love this because it's, it's true. You know, just because you guys are not together does not mean that you're not energetically still spiritually together. Now we have memories at the bottom. Past memories bind us, but will also free us as we seek our own self-truth. When you feel lonely, look up at the night sky, for you will see our universal home and the stars to guide you back to me. This is so beautiful. Okay, I get here that you guys are still thinking about each other and the memories, and this is very beautiful. So let's pull some charms and see what needs to come out. We have, she believes she could, so she did. I have no idea what this is. <laughs> I have no idea. It looks like a bunny's ears. Very interesting. I don't know. Then we have, life is a gift. So pretty. Oh, wow. Look, I have a tree here in the back of it. We have the letter M. Okay. We have another tree. You could be dealing with an earth sign. Oh my gosh, look at this. And we have another starfish. And we saw that earlier. We have another tree. We have a, a moon here. We have a Y, X. That could be an X. <laughs> and we have a C. We have two Cs. C, C, I. Another seashell. You could be a water sign. Dealing with a earth sign or vice versa. And we have a butterfly. Okay, let me, let me zoom in. Okay. M, this could be M, C. CMC, I don't know. Take it how it resonates, guys. <laughs> uh, this could be I, M, I, C, Mike, a B or a singer. And we have a Y, and we have an X, and then a butterfly. And this is actually uh, a crown with the moon, a crescent moon. You know, it looks like a C. But then we have this one here, make a wish. Oh my gosh, that's so interesting. We did see that in the reading, make a wish. The star card. And then we have a butterfly, which is transformation. So I definitely feel like, you know, we definitely saw the brave card earlier. She believes she could, so she did. So I feel like your masculine is trying to be brave like you. I feel like he sees that you've grown. If this is a bunny, it's like you've, you've multiplied your blessings. And, you know, he sees you growing. The tree of life. And maybe your person likes being around water. But, yeah, I just... I love this. <laughs> but yeah, we have C, M, I, C, Y, X. I know these are hard to read, but and then we have two hearts here that are still connected. So you guys are twin flames going through a transformation, going through a safe passage. You know, the seashell is about being open to what happens, you know, like being open to discovering new things because usually this reminds me of like the clam, which will have a pearl inside. This could have like a, a treasure within but you need to go off on your own to figure figure out what that treasure is right this is basically it beautiful so <laughs> that is your reading guys let me know in the comments um how this resonated if it did and i'll catch you guys in the next video take care bye